Sometimes we hear that friction always opposes the direction of motion. Well, here's an example that illustrates that's not always true. So I have a crate on the back of this truck that would otherwise be stationary, but the truck takes off accelerating to the right and the crate com comes along for the ride. Now, if there was no friction, that crate would just stay in the exact same X coordinate and by the time the truck was over here, the crate would start falling to the ground. So friction is definitely causing this thing to accelerate in the direction of motion. So that parallel force of friction must be pointing to the right on the crate. And that's a static friction force. And the force of gravity is pointing down on the crate. We're not given a mass, so I assume that will cancel out. And I'm just going to call that mg. And then there's a normal force pointing up. And I want the maximum acceleration so that the crate won't break loose. So that means we are maxing out our static friction force, which means I can use the formula Fs equals mu s times n. That's the maximum static friction force. So I suppose I'll do the, the y analysis. And that doesn't have to be real formal. I know the forces are balanced in the y direction because there's no acceleration in the y direction, so n must be equal to mg. And then I go into the x analysis, applying Newton's second law, and I get, I'll just back up a little and write f net in the x direction equals m a in the x direction. And f net is just that static friction force. That's the only force pointing parallel um, to the direction of motion here um, and parallel to that surface. So that's just a mu s times n, but that's mg. And the masses cancel out, which I'm thankful for. And I end up with my acceleration being mu s times g. So now I can just evaluate this, and I get 0.7. That was the static friction force times 9.8. I get 6.86 meters per second squared. Any faster than that, and that block is going to break loose and begin to slide, and you'd have a lot more interesting problems.